Yeah. Don't you like the beat? Two <laughs> beats. Got tickets in the building. What's up? Yeah, I'm alright. Soups. Announce your presence. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all know who it is. It's that strong guy, Lyricist. Yeah. Now we're stepping in the building. We are at Lendo Podcast. And you know, say when I step in, I go always drop bars. It's the realest now. Mm. Coming through from underground to the ceiling. Every time that I step behind the mark, it's just bar spitting. For my soul and then my spirit. Every time I hold these bars, you know, I always give delivery. Yours is still born. And mine still burns. It's fire now. and still bet. That's what I'm poking off. The bar's too strong. Over top, like it's buttercock. Every time I hold this microphone, yeah, I'm always hot. Behind the mic or a cappella. I'm a boy, so I always keep it all strong. You know that, tell them. Check out, like bank with draw slip. I hold the microphone, yeah, my bars are always slick. Mm. Street card from last giddy. My rhyme silly. Every time, spirit, you guys feel it. Uh huh. Strong guy, let me see this, yo. Yeah. <laughs> buzz, my G, buzz. Welcome to Lendu Podcast. Gothic and um Mark MC 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 but you don't rap these days. Everything happened now, bro. But like I have to embrace the business now. So I realized that like a lot of people are being artists. Like mm. so who's gonna be the exec, the manager. So I embrace to be an executive and a talent manager. Yes, sir. Oh wow. That's beautiful. Yeah. So gothic mm. for the sake of people that don't really uh don't really know you yeah who is gothic and how the <laughs> fuck did you come about that name? <laughs> <laughs> um before gothic i was maxman m-a-r-k-s-m-a-n uh, you see, do we even spell the max <laughs> yes is the correct word maxman like a sharpshooter Oh, 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 that, hey, oh, all right, I get it. <laughs> yeah, I used to be a freestyle battle MC, then Lagos. Okay. Yes, before I ever wrote any bar. Wow. I was only doing freestyle battle. You grew up in Lagos? Yes, wow. first stack precisely. Wow. So, we had this battle competition. Mm. I'm more of in Lagos. That's a local government. Lagos, where first stack, my two... Uh, Okoku, all those parts are under this uh, local government. Yeah. And they had a battle competition, hip hop clinic battle. 32 rappers. And I got the form for the for the competition through a freestyle. The guy said, if I can freestyle mm. with everything around him, he's going to give me the form for free. And the form was like 2K at that time. What year is this? Uh, 2000 and nine oh okay all right it's been a minute yeah so i got the form went there my window my sleeper so no footwear that time i never really get bar to get footwear <laughs> so I one guy footwear for the for the show i went and i won the battle wow there this guy street disciple he was on jimmy jad's definition project Okay. He brought one of his guy for that competition. I mean, and that guy went like seven rounds. Oh boy! Because right. he wanted the guy to win. Okay, okay. So there's always yeah. going to be yeah. ah. Right. So we're just going round after round after round after round. Then that was when one of the judges said, "Man, God, this guy is gothic. Oh, this guy is a threat. Oh, okay. Wow. Ah, I see. So that's where the name gothic comes from but gothic is definition of gothic is something scary or something gloomy and horrifying okay something that raises your pulse uh, or maybe an architectural design or a commando that fights for the people against the government only one name yes is definition <laughs> <laughs> so that's gothic well welcome Welcome to the podcast again. Thank you, Lendo. So, um, 
MC. Yes, sir. <coughs> a lot of people know you already, Sha. Yeah. Around here, so, but <laughs> just for the sake. <laughs> okay, so um, the name is Paul Mark Fetch Rose, but these days I love to go simply by Ross, okay? So uh, I'm into music business as a talent manager, public relations, and marketing executive, yeah? So um, I used to be a rapper and MC, you know? But in 2011, like I told you earlier, like I realized that a lot of people are going to, like a lot of people around me were artists and there are a few people that really want to be outstanding as business managers. So I took it upon myself to study, learn about what management is and I've been managing a lot of artists. Right now I have like two artists on my roster. I have Ice, one of the finest um, female um, artists around Northeast. Then also recently also um, OD Rashid also was signed to, you know, to my management, you know, uh, outfit. Yeah. So basically, I also do management and I also do PR. Yeah. Okay. Now, for the sake of people that don't understand, what exactly is music management? What is your job? All right. Okay. So now, uh, the simple description of a talent manager is number one, to develop the talent. Now, talent development is very, very important in music. Every artist that has become a global superstar has to undergo a proper development. You know, A and R to scout for the um, talent, and talent has to go through development. So, as a talent manager, it's my job to develop my talent. Okay, tell you that this is how you should be. You know, so the development cuts cut across all board. You know, how you should speak when it comes to like media training, mm-hmm. how you should dress. You know, how you should record. Then also, I'm also in charge of handling businesses. So. When somebody wants to like feature my artists, I have to undo negotiations. So as an artist, artists are just some, some artists by default just want to create music. They mm-hmm. don't understand contract, they don't understand negotiations. So I'm always there to protect the interest of my clients. So someone wants to feature my artist, someone is calling them for a show, even though it's a free show. Okay, what other benefits can we get from this show if this person is not paying upfront? So that's you know basic job what I do. Also, pitch my um, artists to potential investors. Okay, my artist is good. How can I make money? I have to go talk to investors. Mm-hmm. I also have to develop business ideas. So uh, music for me is an entry point to lifestyle entertainment. So as a manager, you have to understand that money for music can be slow. So where can we get like other sources of revenue or mm-hmm. income? So it's the job of a manager to be able to develop business ideas to sustain the career of the artist. So in a nutshell, that's you know, the, uh, what's it called? Simple job description of a talent manager. That's a lot. Yeah. Simple, but it's a lot. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yes, so, um, now, do you, g- like, do you have, like, a company? Yes. Okay, so, uh, I have a company called Mark Petros Creative. So, oh. Mark Creative is the outfit for talent management, then also for public relations. Yeah, so that's the name of the company, Mark Petros Creative. Okay. Yeah. Wow. Well, that's, yeah. that's deep. So, you, you, <laughs> You do you scout for artists or these artists actually want your services and then they get across to you? Okay, okay so it's two way street. So as a manager, I will go scout for okay. I will just look at okay, this guy is good. I want to work with you. And most people also will come to me. They want to work with me. But however, I mean, a space where I want to give every artist I work with hundred percent. So I have to die. So so our management is like marriage. It's like between, you know, marriage. Yes, it's like marriage. <laughs> yes, you right. know, yes. So like husband, <laughs> wife, because it requires a lot of commitment, and also it's like also parenthood, <coughs> like a father, a mother, and a child. So it requires also like a lot of commitment. So for me, it's before I engage any talent, we have to be in same SP. Understand that it's going to be like a rough road. Mm. So are you willing to commit like to this thing? You know, so beyond just we really showing interest, like so most times the artists where. Um, okay, like Rashid. Now, before before we send Rashid, like Rashid is the brother here. Yeah, but before we send, like we have to do like three month trial. Okay, let's work with our contract. Let's see if we can like be really like be business partners. If we can work together. So after a three month trial, the, when everybody's like okay, no, okay, let's sign contract. For me, so whoever do approach first is fine. But there has to be like three month trial to be able to understand, you know, the aspects of both parties. Then if we agree, okay, we can work together. Mm. Then we we'll go for that to sign contract properly. Wow. Yes, I l- love that you guys are doing it by the books. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yeah. Yes, sir. It means a lot because we hear a lot of artists, um, after a while, 
maybe they just sh- uh, shook hands and then mm, yeah. they start engaging in business like mm. activities and then at the end of the day they say ah you raped me yeah voila 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 that's crazy yeah so uh, uh gothic tell me about the core um what is the core as should i say hip hop head <laughs> yeah know. As hip hop mm. as I am, yeah, I feel here a lot of hip hop heads or rappers don't get platforms to actually do the things they want to do. It's always a mix up of both the Afro and hip hop, and I feel. There should be a platform for rappers to come show themselves. Like oh, okay. you're dope or not. You got bars or not. So the call came about me seeing a lot of dope MCs and a lot of whack rappers feeling their dope. So everybody needs to come to a place where you can create a balance. It's either you're dope or you're not dope. So come if you are dope, big ups. If you are not, so the call came from the real MCs I've seen, the dope rappers I've seen in Beehive, specifically. That stands for an acronym. What is it? The core is the circle of real MCs. Okay, okay. What is your definition of real MC? Uh, a real MC is someone that understands. First, the culture of hip hop, hmm. which is yes, which is the essence. Hip hop is a culture. A rap is just one of the elements of the culture of hip hop. Yeah, which is emceeing. So we have beatboxing, DJing, hmm. graffiti art, break dancing, b boying, street entrepreneurialism street fashion mm-hmm. yeah. and all that. So a real MC, someone that understands what this culture is all about, it's not about bling bling or the ESS and all, mm-hmm. but it's about passing a message. The essence of hip hop is passing a message. It's like, like I think um, Slick Rick said, is the CNN of of music that's what rap is wow passing a message if you're not impacting knowledge properly mm. or positively then you're not real to me wow that's deep <laughs> but you could be passing it's just a bad message or just a work message <laughs> um like <laughs> like, work message. Uh, like in, in mass communication you see is it communication that is not understood there's no communication when there's no comprehension in what mm. I'm giving. And and this is, if you say it's the CNN of, of rap, that means you should be mobilizing, educating, entertaining, and um, what's the last one? Let me use the word impacting knowledge. Okay. So that's why for me, everything I, I do is always some sort of fact with whatever verse I'm going to be on. Mm. In my in my sixteen, in my eight, in my twelve, in my twenty-four, it's always a fact. Because it's personal. I have to tell you something true. If I'm going to be on a verse with anybody, I don't do competition. I just try to be the highest truth in the room. Mm. Everybody is entitled to his own truth. <laughs> yes, the highest truth. The highest truth is not <laughs> somebody. Somebody might just say what he's saying is not fact, but then people could actually learn from it. Yeah, what I'm saying when when I say the highest truth in the room is we're going to do a verse together. Mm-hmm. I try to get more relatable quotables that people always remember. Oh, okay. Yeah, like like yes, is this is this. Um, this vote wisely. Mm. A lot of people did something on that. 
Yeah. Lot of artists mm-hmm. and rappers also. But people always remember what I said. Which is what did you say? For Nigeria, if you vote, you die. If you talk, you die. If you not talk, you die. So make I talk, my guy, because all die and I die. Mm. So everybody will always mm. remember that. Yeah, yeah, actually. So it, it's it might mean another different thing for me, but to you, it's that easy was to your remember. talk. Yes. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> I don't even remember that one. <laughs> <laughs> I don't remember I'm seeing at your talk. Okay. Yeah, but I, I get the picture you're trying to paint. Yeah. So uh, apart from being very creative as a rapper, we make you a real MC. Not just coming. Everybody can rap. Because they believe, ah, I know small poetry now. And I feel rhyme. Mm. I, feel, I feel rhyme. Beats with seats, seats with eats. So yeah. mm-hmm. okay. Actually, making meaning from everything you see. It'll be just right. That's mm. why most times people settle for just talking about girls. Because it's easier to say rubbish mm. than to make sense. Is it? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay, but I just feel like. Um, People just talk about their reality. And if your reality is around women, you probably talk about it more. So why would people talk about guns when they don't have one? Or they've not used one. They only see the movies. That's what I'm saying. You can decide to illustrate things. They're probably not the truth around you, but then it's someone some other person's reality somewhere. But you know, see some people, they really they always talk about how they scoop girls and they don't have those girls. That's what I'm saying. You it's could be telling some other person's story. It's not imagination. You could be coming from a third uh, party. <laughs> 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 it depends on the dimension you're coming yeah. from. Okay. Mm. So Very true. I can Very tell true. somebody else's story. Yeah. For somebody else to hear. True. I you know heard a G. Cool track that he was telling... Uh, a story from like from conversation he had with a, a, a girl's dad and mm. and then it's like a letter he was reading it to her and the whole like eight minutes he was rapping and telling the girl about her dad and what is not yeah and Hobson did something like that so about the girl that was pregnant for him and she yeah. lied that she was pregnant for him the later he found out that she and the mother were hiding the yeah. pregnancy mm. That's yeah crazy. At, at the end of the day, I just feel like if people can actually relate to what you're saying and somehow at the end of the day, we still have to entertain people. Sure, definitely. So people need to be entertained and it's, yeah, I don't want to say it's um, it's bad, but then in trying to entertain people, then you slot in the message. Yes. Mm. Inside. In trying to entertain, just educate. Yeah. And inform mm. people. So, but if, or more, if the entertainment just just day and there's nothing to retain, that's why I don't like some music that I cannot retain anything. I don't. I don't listen. <coughs> to, I could be in a space where they are playing those type of music, maybe in the club or just somewhere. I just came. It's fine. I enjoy it for the moment, but I don't move around listening to those type of music. Like, no matter how good the music is, I just want to be able to retain something after listening to the song. Okay, what, what's in the mm. inside the song? <laughs> <laughs> so if I cannot even see that, ah, uh, can't. Okay. Yeah, but sometimes, well, melody makes sense now. Yeah. <laughs> Makes sense, it's catchy, like you will feel enjoy. Mm, that's why I read him there for rap now. Yeah, him on poetry. Yeah, yeah. Some people define rap like that, like mm. read him on poetry. Yeah, that's I think Rakim made that statement. Uh-huh. So you see, read him on poetry. Yeah, so what are people going to expect from the call? You've said, um, it's, uh, it's on the 18th, yes, 18th of March. So we're going to see from what you've said, dope MCs 
and work MCs <laughs> and people will just select whatever they want and consume. Mm. Okay. You have been in Bauchi for some time now. Y- yes. Assess the industry. Mm. <laughs> wow. Gang gang. <laughs> <laughs> What have you noticed? What have you bro? Um from where I'm coming from. Which is Lagos? Yes. Still in Lagos. I've stayed in Kidi. I've stayed in Ibadan. That's Lagos now. No, but there's not Lagos. <laughs> but there's Lagos State. On those states. Okay. Have you your state? Yeah. So I've been to Benue State. All in the name of Freestyle. So, I've met people, I've met MCs, I've met rappers, I've met entertainers. But there's something about Bauchi mm-hmm. or Beehive, as it's called, that is different. As much as they have talent, they don't support each other. What is your definition of support? Uh, I might not know Ross as a rapper mm. and I listen to his song and it's good and he's in that area as long as it's good it's do good to me mm. I'll share it let people I know hear this guy he mustn't be my friend okay sharing is the support you're talking about yeah I might not give you money Support can come in any way. Like here, I, I observe one thing. If, if, okay, let me say it this way. I know I've never had my opinion about, had my opinion about mm. this particular issue. There was Starship Fest mm. and there was PIC3. PIC3? What yeah. is this PIC3? Uh, Priestor in concert. Oh, okay, okay. Okay. And I'm not a, a fan of making too many comments on social media. So there was this, uh-uh, this guy no wants to make this guy make a, mm. a, a show pop. This one already star now. This one, this one are uh, upcoming. What the fuck? What? <laughs> <laughs> so so what I, is I, that? I, 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 <laughs> I feel this person will be star. A stranger before. Nobody knew him. <laughs> he, he, he took a stand for himself mm. and believe win or lose, you know me. Then you saw that and got motivated mm. to do yours. Mm-hmm. Win or lose, you should stand and be outstanding. So that conversation made me like people they support this, people they support me. I'm, as long as in a hip hop, me a D, I don't care. Mm. So that made me understand better. Like, okay, some people D, once I'm in rough streets, I mean, Rafi Zufi, mm. I will least support the guys in Rafi Zufi. Yeah. Mm. The ones in Yellow, YL, will support the guys only in Yellow. No saint. Well, where they come from? If you dope, you do. But if you know dope, we tell you more guy. No vessel. You guys go reals. Me know your thing where come do one. Our area, our states, no be another person. You to if OC OC might not be the dopest rapper. He's not the dopest rapper in this town. He is. No, I don't. I disagree. Why? Because he's known. He's the he's the dopest known. There are people that looked up to him and decided to grow. Who is who is <laughs> doper? <laughs> 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 See, there are people that that will look up. To, that have been looking up to him from where he started. No, I don't think OC is just because he's popular. I no, think he's dope. He's dope. I'm not saying he's doper. Doper than everybody. Nobody is better. I don't, I don't think so. Who is better? A lot of people. Who? A lot of people. Who? I mentioned names, bro. Who is better? For me, I am all. 
Who is IMO? My opinion. Who is IMO? In my opinion. Okay. <laughs> okay. I thought that's the answer. <laughs> <laughs> okay. For me. Yeah. I've had this argument with a couple of people, but they don't agree. Mm. But I see it that way. You know, the fact that OC is dope as an MC, as a music, as an artist, mm. he's dope. It's total 360. Very dope. And it's very dope. <laughs> when I heard Blacko. Okay. Very dope too. When I heard Blacko. Mm. And the other rappers I've heard. Mm. Femme, this is the only person that is close. With the pen. Close to where? OC. Oh, okay. With the pen. His penmanship is... I don't understand what you're saying. Is okay. Okay, you're getting to the point. Yes. Now. Okay. All it's right. Penmanship is lyricism mm. because I'm more of a content person than ba- uh, bars over beats. That's what I stand for. With the kind of beats, yeah. T go one talk. T one yeah. So I feel the rappers I've heard here. Mm. He's the closest and. If we see no stand where in fit take over because he's he's he has been consistent from the time I've been listening to him when they did their MAD in 2018. Mm. I've been following what have you followed? They have not dropped anything. I've seen their recorded recording session for projects that they've not dropped. Okay, you're judging by that. People will not relate to that. People will not relate to that. They will hear it. Because the music is not in the out yet. And we've done something together. Mm. I'm Which still waiting for you to drop the the punchline in this talk. Okay. Now, this is it. Mm-hmm. He. Who is he? Blacko. Okay. Has studied OC. Mm. Very well. Because one way or the other, they sound alike. Really? Yes. They sound alike. So. It's beginning to sound like you're going round and round. No, that's what I'm saying. The, the thing is, he is the only person that I know that is dope enough. <laughs> or duper. <laughs> to me. <laughs> that OC. Okay. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> you're not sure. I'm very sure. <laughs> I'm very, very sure. <laughs> Very, very sure what I'm saying. <laughs> you will be very proud of this thing you have said. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, so but that's just one person, no? That's one person I know that I can always vouch for. Then after him, maybe Chris Flames. Who is Chris Flames? That's an old name. That that's an old name. Yeah, Chris Flame is the duo. G.I.G. The Plug. Black House uh. is a duo. Black O and Chris Flames. Yeah. G.I.G. <clears throat> so these guys are the guys I know that their penmanship is crazy. Okay. But two is not a lot. <laughs> <laughs> a two is not a, lo- a lot. It's not a lot. A three it's is a crowd, that's why. No one crowd. It's just two. You see, so many people are are better than OC. And you just mentioned his prodigies. Yes. Well, oh, those are his so prodigies? Yeah, you don't know. Just can I comment uh, on no, this? No, no, I don't know. <laughs> those are his artists. Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> you can't, please. Okay, so so for me, I like I understand where God is coming from here. Yeah, but the truth is Let like... talk close to now. So the truth is like, OC is one of like the finest MCs that we have in this city. So the thing is, if those guys are like you say are closer to OC or they can't, like we need to see like you guys your body of work and consistency. And like you said, those guys like belong to his like art king and uh-huh. like you know they like mentorship whatever. Like OC is the guy you know yeah they are closer to being that guy, but they have to job body of work. So you guys have to job singles, have to job EPs. You guys have to like go on so you guys have to like have build the you know, community around northern nigeria you get you know so if you guys don't have the catalog you guys don't have the followers you guys don't have the fan base then you guys are not closer 
So it, it means you have to judge who is the dope part, not just uh, not just because of um, the lyricism. That, that has to be proved, and you can prove that by having catalogs upon catalogs. You get, yeah. That means you're saying consistency. Yes, it's very important, like very, you know, yeah. <laughs> you have not answered my question, Sha. Eh, me? <laughs> yeah, yes. You see, a lot of people are better than OC, <laughs> and you just went ahead to mention his prodigies, which are just two, and like looking at the two of them, they belong to your group. So I didn't it's know. just one artist. I didn't know that. So that you you didn't know that they no. they are a group. And I know that Black House is a group. Yes, and I you don't just know mentioned one artist. Black I House is like one artist. Um, they are a group. Black House. There are two people. In Black House. No, 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 no. Black House. <laughs> Black House is Black House. Yes. Okay. And I mentioned I didn't mention Black House. I said Black Osam and yes. Chris Flames. Yeah, they have never been like artists for themselves. They don't have individual songs. They don't. They have always been Black House. Yes. Black House from Inception. So I I, I just know them. How? How did you know them differently? <laughs> <laughs> I just know before I met, have you seen any Black Hole song? No, it's always Black House. So even if it's him rapping, it is not Black Hole. It's Black House. But he has been featured alone. Where? <laughs> yes, there, there are songs that Chris Flynn was featured and I which song? Okay, Where I'll, is the song? I will bring that to you. <laughs> 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 I'll bring that to I you. Oh, uh, this is interesting. Not very many people are. Maybe I don't know, Sha. But you have not answered my question. I just let it slide. <laughs> <laughs> you don't have answers. <laughs> Got it. Where is the answer? <laughs> <laughs> I'm giving you my answer already. No, no answer. No mm. answer. You just said Black House and Black House is just one artist. So just one, just Black House that is close to. Um, BOC. Yes, that's the only. If you see just one artist, then it's just that one that is close here. You, in BIF. Yeah. Yeah. Let me say this. You speak very highly of Black House because you've seen them up like very close, I, I suppose. Because you wouldn't see all of these things by virtue of work that is out there. Yes. Because we, we all know that. We, we all we have seen them all of us who have seen them closely and we know what they can do mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and and we always agree that it is not enough out there and everybody every one of us want to see more sure everybody is longing to see more put out there you probably have not seen BOC up very close you have not seen him very close you don't know his work ethics. Probably. You don't. But you've seen a little of Black House and you're wowed by it. Hmm. <laughs> there was a day we were doing like a count of like songs UC has done 10 years ago. This thing I'm telling you, 10 years ago. We did it 10 years ago. We've counted 300 songs. Wow. From 10 years ago. So, so when you, when you just say these things, I'm like, you just took me back to that time and I was like, Kay? this guy doesn't know <laughs> shit. <laughs> <laughs> you don't know shit. You don't know, like, <sighs> I will not say anything. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, say it, say it, say it. it. It's a rap. But what I, what I want to say is, it was music and people have opinion it is there's a lot of preference what i like yeah you don't like sure and you cannot force your opinion on me yeah, like yeah. this is what i want this is this is what is appealing to me sure i have seen uh yeah um beauty very close like extremely close i have also seen scopy very close Scoopy, back then, he didn't have the work ethic. Sorry, who's Scoopy? <laughs> Mixmaster Scoopy. I don't know that name. 
Yeah, you wouldn't know. You just came. <laughs> 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 you wouldn't came. You, you just came. Just so came, it's, yeah. it's yeah. He used to rap. He was a producer before. So uh, uh, Scoopy used to say exactly what I want to hear on record. Like, I don't know if you've listened to songs and you're like, ah, I'm more this to me and for fit talk mm. Now something <laughs> will in my mind like that. So he was that type of rapper to me. And that's why he's one of my favorites up, up until now. He was saying exactly what I want to hear on record. And he was very close to BOC. They used to, like, they, it, was, it used to be like Scopey and BOC. Like, that was what hip hop was here. Yeah. And then, you know, people fall out, people get different passion. And yeah. They start doing like different stuff. So Sc- Scopey was not making yeah, music again. But at that time, <laughs> <laughs> they were they were fire. They were the first. They were the first set of people to have like a hit track that was rap. Mm. We used to have a song like Amusement Park back in the day. There was no putting song on the internet that time we don't even know how to do that but BOC had a song that went viral on the street and he was rapping hard and he featured Scopey on the song I think Scopey and VC on the song that was the first song that was on the street that was like they were rapping seriously hmm. and places we were hearing the song now please now please where you know go ever think i'm saying you go hear that type of song so it was possible that was the breakthrough song like for them ah okay i can actually rap and people will listen to the song so i think that your statement about people i don't know whether i fear you they fear fear (laughs) (laughs) Fear so they talk about not not very many people because abuse is 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 dope and on his level come out see the guy popular mm. let's bring out the works and and talk there is nobody you can only just say okay oh mom me i like this guy's pass and not just not, not just not just your like but okay. you don't have anything to back it up with really you don't you just you just mention his. You just be like, see, <laughs> you just say, uh, Omo, you no go feed do this thing. Mm. Your picking feed one better. <laughs> 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 that is the way you just do now. Mm. Yeah, but it's all good. Very, very dope. They are like two of them are like my my favorite too. Like self favorite. I love to put Scopey and Abyssinia in that category too. Yeah, Yeah, but how about so many people they rap. (laughs) See Gothic. (laughs) 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 See Gothic. Yeah, so um, uh, you have not finished saying everything about uh, the industry, Sha. You just said um there is the no support no support which i actually don't agree with that too really yes i don't know about the segregation i'm talking about yeah i don't agree there are some people who support people from the area it's not about people let me tell you something there's um people say these things a lot and i think they don't really understand there is no way you go in the world today mm. that things are not done the way it's done here there is everywhere you go today today and even before now people that stay together they tend to respond to people they see every day mm-hmm. better than somebody that is a stranger that is how it works. <laughs> and you cannot tell me that you have not been in spaces that you have... You you have been here before. You have performed here. Yes. 
and you've wowed the people, people respond to you. Yes, true. And it's not because they, it's not because of anything. It's because they feel you're dope. So I don't understand the support you're 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 actually trying to say people don't support people. Omo, now I I will recognize the person that I know first before any other thing. That is a normal thing. It's not a it's not like a a, a, a bouchy thing that okay ah bouchy people know they support people from this. That's not true. For me, that's not true. For me, it's true. How is it <laughs> for true? me? It's true because I have, I have, I have, okay. Give me instance. Like when whose project was that? When G Caps mm. did a project, yeah, Diamond in the Rough. Mm-hmm. I guess that's the project. Okay. Not every people people know him mm-hmm. in behind, but not everybody. Yeah, were sharing his stuff. Even when he he went as far as sliding into people's DMs. Sharing is no support. Sharing, sharing is no support. It supports. It, how is it support? Now, you know some certain people. Mm-hmm. as an artist yeah and i know some people also mm-hmm. that you don't know mm-hmm. because of where i'm coming from or where i've been or the the contacts i've made mm-hmm. so now if i share your stuffs what do you mean by like let me even get it straight what do you mean by sharing like you release a song and i'm posting it on my social media platforms oh that is what you mean by that's sharing. what i mean I know you understand what I mean by shame. You're just trying to drag it. I know. No, 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 no. no. I don't understand. I, <laughs> I don't understand. And I'm not the only person. I might be talking for other people mm. too. So, so that's what I mean. Mm-mm. Here, when that happened, mm-hmm. I didn't see like anything at first. But when I think Mass Prince released Lost Files. Mm. And same Jacobs that wanted everybody to share his stuff. Hmm. Did you want to share that? I don't understand. Did you want to share that? How did like, you know that? How did because, you get that? Because that conversation that came. Intel. That conversation came. <laughs> How? And like, ah, this one, no share my own. So why go share my own? Hmm. Crazy. I know. That not be the way. Oh. Let me t- let me let me say this. This sharing thing. I don't think it's so. You do you see other artists uh, uh, where they somewhere they do like that? It's not by sharing. Omo, if you want to do, if you if if you if you have a record and you want to put out a record, you cannot say you are capitalizing on people sharing your. No, music you are doing yours. No, why you why you want? So if people know, if no people don't share your music, it don't mean say they know they support you. That, no. I feel they listen to your song, but I don't share them. I don't understand. Like, I can be listening to your song, but I'm not sharing it. Even if you don't listen to the fact that people allow you to operate, mm. even if that is support. People must not take your ah uh, ah. Uh, now maybe your PR guy. <laughs> <laughs> you understand? Mm. So people, it's not it's not like that. No, it's not like that. People, see, let me tell you, everybody, st- everybody fix fix everything. And it might be your reality until you get to a certain level where you can put people to do things for you. Hmm. When you, if you start off as like an artist, you become your PR, you become your manager, you become your A and R, you become your everything, everything. Yes, until yes. you get to a level where okay, Omo, this person is a professional. I need to take this move, get, get this done for me, get this done for me, get this done for me, for me. Let me tell you something. You don't even is that be, the fake it. Before you make it, I are saying yes to this by yourself before somebody. Does yes, it you. you could be your money. A lot of no, artists are their you managers. You don't have the money. That's why you are doing it yourself. Yes, that's what I said. And I also said is, it could is be you your reality. Is, okay, hey. I also say it could be your reality. So what I'm saying is, people do a lot of things to get to a, a, a certain space. Like I work very hard. 
to get like maybe contacts and these people are bent on my thing i don't know if you understand yeah they are bent on my thing especially let's say let's say whatsapp now i have like uh let's say 100 people on my whatsapp that are actually expecting my thing they're probably maybe uh, close people and they are fans of my work and they they want to listen to me and then there's this person that has and you don't even know how i got those people you are just another artist elsewhere and then you have your your thing out and then you start feeling you feel compelled to like take take my work and put it to your people and and clearly let's see me i have like a hip hop fan base and then because a uh, mark is an artist and he needs support but he does music that is completely different from my music yeah and then my audience would not respond to, mm. to that music and then i take that music and then put it up like against these people and then what do you think will happen to those people how do you think they will respond first it's something you don't do regularly right yeah so when you do it eh uh-uh. if you want to show support to everybody you do it regularly now abi that me wait first Abby? first you know you have like what i said there's i'm always content over beat buzz over beat no you put yourself in and, this and now, this is, yeah, okay. you're putting yourself okay. in this it's not now, this it's thing not is you it is it's not good you. music if it's good music okay so what you're saying is you should not show support to people that don't make good music or if your music is work i know share i go tell oh, you now so you see so there is if there is a situation where you don't share too because i will listen first before i share to anybody eh, that is what and I'm, and i'm saying that uh, there's a there's a uh, situation of preference mm. what you consider music that is not good some people love it yeah i agree with you so how do you balance that So at the end of the day people everybody go struggle for your own fan base somehow. Don't be say okay me I don't get my people I you I must share my people with your people. No. You even know how I take care of my people. I want to be no be you fight for independence <laughs> and they enjoy the independence. <laughs> <laughs> so, you understand? Mm. Let me tell you something a very very uh, story that is not popular. When we started doing all these sh- shows used to write letter people don't even know it is not by this thing the, all these uh, social media posts no people that used to come to our event i am very sure 70% of them we have met them one on one there are some people that would never see your post on social media sure they are not even in that space We used to write like letter, invitation letter, and we attach ticket to it. Now, now door to door, mm. door to door, we do go door to door. They give people letter. Why? Those people they don't understand. They don't understand the essence. They don't understand the. Co- they think see, some of them have never come in contact with people like us. They don't even know these things happen. There are people today in Bauchi. Yes. They don't know that they are artists. I've been to I've I've been to BRC. I'm telling you, you be like say you did the other day. Yeah. I I I've been to BRC. The man talks say he no no say artists they for about you. Right. <laughs> I'm telling you. See I have a queer artist a girl in the That's why just they look the man like this. And and it's possible, you know, no. Mm. This is not person where they work for a radio house, so. <laughs> 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 so that so what I'm saying is, people do a lot to get to people, and the fact that people are trying to protect and build upon these people, you don't go just pop up from nowhere, just tell people say, "Oh, my guy." you must share this your people with me no 
this, if this, they do them, this, fine. This, this uh, but if they no do them, be zama come on. This, this you must share this today. This, this life. Josh did. Josh Gani. Mm. With Rashid. And Piki came on that life. Mm. He's talking about this same. Me and you do song, and now only me the share. And you did on top the song. Just imagine. And and <laughs> <laughs> uh, and Piki made a statement. I think that's the first time I heard him talk. Just the same. Never hear him. Come on, see. I'm pitching English go sweet for this talk. Talk. You talk, see. <laughs> If you know she, if you do song together, and you know she must say I go find you come out. Ask you why you know share the song. Ah, uh-uh. I like okay. You feature me for song. Hmm. I did the song. Yes. What if I don't get data to waste? To hmm. share or not get data at that point in time to share. Or I did extremely busy. To do online to do anything concerning that you know get that uh, to share some good you did inside and some people did, <laughs> so, some people get some maybe i i know what's, i know what's what that excuse <laughs> I, I, I know go i know go mention i know i know some artists i know go mention him mm-hmm. i know artists we don't claim see do video your mm-hmm. pr person asks you to do video to mm-hmm. send that and you say you know get that and you get phone and i see your phone no good Now that's that's now why some people know if you use iPhone because they like free mode <laughs> on Facebook. Okay. Shot. Shot. No, but me, but on a very serious note. Yes. Wow. It's not because I'm from this place. It's, me originally, I'm from Kuti <laughs> State. Self. Mm. Yeah, but but the the places I've been to, places we don't go see people that are doing the same thing we are doing i've seen more real people from belgium yeah they're real people i've seen more re- real people are more honest people i don't want to call the name of places but you see some places we can just not talk we'll talk no 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 no, no. <laughs> to start a war <laughs> 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 but i'm telling you if if you see a real person from beehive he can survive anywhere in the world anywhere sure. in the world but if you, if you want to be stupid and foolish you can be from anywhere now. Mm. so but then this i uh, this mentality of people know they support uh, everybody i don't think it's any different here now just it depends on how people see you mm-hmm. and how you approach people and then you know go just come from somewhere people know know you then you go expect some kind of reception where they, they give people where they don't they used to they see you know go walk even if even for una house stranger no go just come you go start to treat stranger differently from the way we the treat no like guys give you reason to make you yes like. so exactly my point so if you come you, you day you day you go guys give people reason to or more they need to buy into what you're doing. People know go just um, it did very difficult too. You know why it did very difficult for this town? No. Now the first generation be this. Where you come up from Lagos, you know how many people don't they sing uh, for there? Um, people don't do. You get uh, people so don't culture do. already did there. Now the first set of people <laughs> where they do things for here be this. Mm-hmm. Now the first set. In short, government never approve what we do. <laughs> I did even me and Gua, they know they never approve everything we did do up till now. So industry know even they self. You get now something where they try put together. They try put together. But um, if if you if you did if you did if if you're comparing uh no. Bauchi to places that have seen people even succeed doing yeah. this, it will be very unfair now. Nobody don't succeed for here. But wait, the artists they try to succeed. Ah, uh-uh. when you no get a, a structure, when you no get blueprint, mm. <coughs> what do you expect? 
Uh, but the people, if, this independence in IMB, the perfect, people who fight for independence, they be no get blueprints now. They just fight for yes. getting the right Now they struggle with it now. Now they struggle with it now. You just say it been easy for the people before. Mm. No easy now. You go shed blood and sweat. That, now the thing we want to fight for now. Not really did yet. Just fight, create the space, make your life. Who be winner? Who be winner? No, any winner for here. Mm. I beg. So, um, I think our time is almost up. Uh, Petrus. Yes, sir. Final words like you, you have been around mm-hmm. longer than Gothic. Yes, sir. For here. And you have seen it. Mm. You have seen the industry. You yeah. have seen the eels you have seen where we have we have we have done so well and not so well yeah, too yeah. so there are people out there that are just starting some people have not started but they want to start yeah you've been an artist you've been on radio you've yes you've done a lot of other stuff that are related to mm. the industry what is the perfect as advice you give someone okay. like that is starting or is about to start? All right. Okay, so for me, yeah, for um, everybody listening, I'll just give uh, two pieces of advice. Number one is you should embrace talent development. Mm. So it's either you do it yourself or look for a professional to like develop you. So like I said earlier, every superstar you see today like has to go under development. When in label sign artists, for instance, Marvin Records, Marvin Records as an academy. If they sign you, like for a year, you'll be in the academy, they will train you how to sing, how to dance, how to dress, with their training, how to talk. So as an artist, if you're starting out by yourself, you need to embrace talent development. Second thing is what? You need to embrace music education, as business education. So as an artist, you need to educate yourself on every aspect of the business. You need to understand yeah. what is a contract, what is a fair contract. You understand how to record, you need to understand how to do all, all these things yourself. So embrace talent development, embrace music business education. So for, for, for instance, I'm going to give an example if, with IC. Now, we sent IC probably like two years ago, but the circuit she has is because like, of the structure she has in place, people that are doing this for her. So as an artist, see that you are doing this for yourself, or you have professionals that are doing this for yourself. So if you have this in place, I promise you that you know, in no time, you, know, you would be on the path to success. So that's my piece of advice to artists out there. Gothic. <laughs> Some guy lyricist. <laughs> what is your own advice as an OG? Um, for me, mm. as an artist. An OG. <laughs> <laughs> I'll say, generally as an artist, not just rappers. Because I learned these on a platform like this, on a podcast. When you're an artist, you don't you don't hunt for people that are up there. Don't slide in their DMs or chat them to help you. Be in their faces. Have you? Push yourself to your day. A trick. Soon they had not know the share people we know they don't share, 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 see, jump in, see, 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 they come in face, in they go through in, in, in social media, and in the see, most of these, A-list rappers and artists, they go through, they go through sites, Nigerian websites, where they see for, songs, yeah. scouting for, dope guys, mm. when they come across you, they listen to your stuff online, and, wow, this guy dope, they go look for your catalogs, and listen, and check if you're dope or not, if you know mm. dope, they could all push you aside. Like like SDC. Show them camp. Yeah, show them camp on this podcast with um Luz Canon. <laughs> tech said, Tech from SDC said, a lot of people send their songs and give him their their CDs to listen to. But he doesn't because most that he has listened to or he had listened to are work. So in the boy, if you joke that time, go keep him. Mm. But Ghost was against it. Ghost was like, him, they listen to everything. Ghost is the other... The sh- other yeah, the yeah. other guy. Okay. The one with the deeper voice. Okay. I said, him, they listen to anything. Then Tech gave the advice of what I'm saying now. He used um, Odunsi 
as an example. Odunsi f- found his way up there in front of people. Not that he was chasing the act. So I feel if you trust, if you have to sell a product, which mm. is a, as an artist, sell a product, be your first customer. Mm. If you don't enjoy it, then you can't sell it. Exact. Okay. Yeah. I I love that you say this. Mm. Let me tell you something that is happening. People hunt for validation, and I feel is wrong thing to do. I have never in my life played my song to somebody. Like ah, I get new song. Make I mm. play them for you. I never ever play anybody my song. Reach today. I I I don't know why I didn't do it before. Maybe now nah, because of fear and some kind of things like that. I know I know I make person criticize me and all those things. But I'm I'm super glad I never did. If you want my song, you ask. So anybody will hear my song, they hear them the first time. Like I've I've done like my last project, I've done it a year ago before I put it out. People will they hear they never ever hear me for once play them. I will not play it. Well, that's some high professionalism. And it's not because I'm hiding the thing. Mm. No. You get it when I put it out. I don't want you to even say, ah, this one makes sense. This one no makes sense. No. I know employ you to do that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. If I employ you to to critique my music, it's a different thing yeah, now. True. You get that? But no. I I do work alone. So let me put it out. If you like it, fine. It's a bonus, ma. Because I will, I will have to feel like, okay, it's good enough to put it out before I put it out. If I know, like my music, like what you said, you have to be your first... Your first customer. Your first customer. So if I don't like it as a customer, I will not put it out for people to, to listen to. But if I like it and you like it, just imagine the joy. Mm. Sure. Because it gets on people where, when they play song, they, they play songs with their phone, their song enter, they will skip their song. <laughs> I, I know go even come near my song, sir. <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> you know, if I even did setting and you start to replay my song, I did come up for there. Mm. I will come up for there. <laughs> so, if you trust your music, you will just send me song. The same thing where you talk, send me song. Say ah, fa fa. I beg, tell me what's up. I said now, if I tell you, say this, your song don't make sense. What thing you go do about them? I church is now. But no, there is no need. I feel no like the song personally. But yeah. people would feel the outside we go like um, like yeah sure. So you, uh, if you are if you are a hip hop artist today, you must have been a hip hop fan for most of your life. Definitely. So waiting, you know already know. If you hear what crap, you don't know. Mm-hmm. So you if know. you hear if you hear yourself say the line no dope enough, you, you go know say. now. You go know so why you define another because because you don't already idolize people say ah this one a OG this one a veteran this one a, mm. the, ah this one don't go far <laughs> oh more people <laughs> like that if you go far no no shit I so. say if you know road you know no destination <laughs> <laughs> so there are many people just they trust their shit if mm. you trust your shit come on that now all you got to go go sleep a bit too <laughs> <laughs> let's go I go sleep a bit guy. <sighs> Bits. So please don't forget the call is on 18th of March. Yeah, it is. You guys should come out and support, you know, the movement. Rap. Yeah. yeah. People go, I just imagine say for for people show, you don't allow them rest. Ah, ah. So for your show, I get your video, get your clips. <laughs> 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 I never release that yet. You, you don't allow people rest. You don't allow people rest. Got some bars. Yeah, we back. Gothic. Hey. The super lyricist. Yeah. Six, seven, nine. Strong guy lyricist. Goth. Six, seven, nine. Come on, the seven. Do six, <laughs> nine. <laughs> <laughs> it's crazy. Yes. 69, I head to head now. <laughs> I head, I head. Hey. Yeah. <laughs> Chong guy, let me say, listen, see. Now me be the patient dog. We many think say no go see bones. When I step in, they step out like see them see ghosts. Boss. 
y'all know who it is. They they step out like CDMC ghost. On beat to a cappella, the confidence that G hold. Physics see my share. Go on. Crack see my physics, see my shit dope. I keep it a hundred, feel the frankness. I don't parley with fickle hearts or those with their mind dance. Mm. This is the message for the madness. Ooh. This is the message for the madness. Uh-huh. So you can feel the hardness. Listen. Your blown ego, I need to less that. And whoop your ass because something to vex at. Mm. Oliver Twist, you know now. <laughs> I always want some little extra. You never pay your dues and you want pass gates. You never knew. <laughs> now you know that the fluency was my last thing. <laughs> Hey, buzz, buzz. See, the fluency was my last day. Intelligence buzz. for very few, innovations for everyone. I have both. That's a perfect mix. Now I did their top 10. And after now, we go talk six. I know many whack rappers that be feeling dope. Never knew. <laughs> now I go just they kill the show. Make uh. you understand this. I know many rappers <laughs> that be feeling dope. You never hear about the call, you need to listen close. Uh, uh, <laughs> when I came on the show, you know what? Kill the show. <laughs> let me let you understand. It's the Chonga boy. And uh-huh. they bring food for thought with BIF salad. <laughs> make I make you understand who is killing this. I grab the microphone, yeah, and I'll be rhyming deep. All I did was just tell you that I use all the tape of Lemon Night to spit for you to know that this guy Woo! is the fucking dopest. <laughs> <laughs> so let me tell you what it is, yo. Check the list. You know God is the illest, bro. Buzz. Top of the top of freestyle you paid for something you can't sleep sleepless night for me to build these skills. It came mm. from my heart and my soul when I spit this shit. It's God. Woo. God Crazy. That's fire. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Thank you for coming on the show. Yeah, I'm very, very MC. honored. You see, now it's Ross. Yes, sir, it's Ross. It's Ross. Yes. I love that. So peace, y'all. Thank you so much.